Okay guys, uh, as I promised, I'm going to create this tutorial for the Tom and Jerry activity that we have today. And um, I'm, doing with, I'm doing with a program that is installed in my computer, okay? If you are gamers, you know that you cannot record your desktop. Really, I don't know why. You only, you, you have to have something open. In this case, I, Scratch is open so I can record. So, uh, excuse me for not starting from, you know, from the desktop, you know, and downloading and all that. But I suppose you understood how to download the program, uh, install it in your computer, then you just open the program in your computer and you have it like this. You see, this is a program, you see it different because it doesn't have share, it doesn't have my account, okay? Good. So, first, uh, sorry if I go a little fast, but you know that you can stop and check again, okay? Um, so first of all, I'm going to uh, get rid of, of this one, this avatar, this sprite here, and I'm going to start including the avatars that I have for today, which are the mouse, the cat, and the cheese. So first of all, I'm going to get my mouse. Remember that you can upload also a mouse from the internet, but I'm going to choose one from here. In animals, I'm gonna get my first my my mouse my mouse the mouse here. So I get my mouse. Remember, if the mouse is too big, I can mm, shrink the, the the mouse. I can make it smaller uh, here with this in this in this uh, option that I have size is 100. I can move it into 50, for example and it's gonna be smaller, as you can see. Now let's go for the cat. Let's check the cat. Let's get the cat. The cat is right here. This is the kind of cat that we have, that we want. Okay, so we have the mouse, we have the cat. The sizes are cool. And now I'm going to choose another bat from paint. Uh, that is, that is uh, the cheese. I'm gonna I'm gonna create my cheese. I forgot to change the name. I want to change the name of my avatars. Uh, this mouse, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call him uh, Jerry. That's the activity. And this mouse, I'm gonna call. Sorry, this cat, I'm gonna call him Tom. Okay. There you go. Tom and Jerry. And now let's create, now let's go to paint, let's create our cheese. First of all, always is convert to bitmap. Uh, it's more comfortable to work in bitmap. Yep. You can come a little closer if you want. And let's start. I'm going to create my cheese. Uh, I don't like the color purple, so I'm going to move it to black. Remember that here in field you can play with the colors, color, saturation, and brightness. And I'm going to start here with a line. There's another line here. Maybe open a little bit. Uh, the, thic the thickness of the the thickness of the of the lines, I don't like them, but if I change them, they're gonna see too little here. So uh, it's better that I just move a little away like this. So I work better, okay? Uh, I'm gonna, let's say something like this. Still it's a little thick, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the thickness here. If you go, for example, no, I just to be. I want thinner, so I go to five, for example. Let's say five. Okay. Uh, I think it's better. Okay. Then something like this. Then something like this. Something like this. Like this. And something like this. I create my my cheese. Now, so you know the typical cheese. The typical cheese, it has some holes, for example, on here, on here, another here, another here, okay. And now I can paint it. I paint with the bucket, with the paint bucket here. 
and I check for a color, remove color to look for some options, Bright, brightness also in clear, so I have different options of colors, yellow is the one, so I color, you see, and probably the holes, the holes I can color with, let's say a little more, uh, something like, yeah, something like gray, something like this, with brightness I can Look for a gray color. Sorry about that. It's not what I want. It's here, 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 and here. Okay. There you go. Okay, and that's my cheese. That's my cheese. Okay, guys. So uh, I think maybe the cheese you think is too big. No, it's okay. A little smaller. Okay. Let's move it into 75 a little smaller okay so i got my three avatars and now i'm gonna start with the commands i think i don't forget anything i'm gonna start with the commands i'm gonna start with the with the mouse remember that when you are controlling one avatar you have to see the avatar here so you are applying those commands to that particular avatar Okay, uh, we're, we're going to go to events first, events, and we're going to set up, we're going to use this command says when click, then we're going to go to control, and we're going to select forever, so the my avatar is going to do an action over and over again, like a loop, then I go to motion, because I want that my my mouse in this case go to a particular point in this case go to the mouse pointer wherever I move the mouse is going to be the uh, mouse this is the first panel I have another panel for the mouse the second panel is going to be something like this let me go when click here Again, the control forever, so forever, the action. Then I'm going to use this one that is the cause and effect, I call it, cause and effect button. <laughs> because I do something and we have a consequence. If I do something, then something happens. In this case, if I touch, let's go to, no, it's not motion, it's sensing, right? It's sensing. Sensing, yes. If I touch, touch. If I touch, then something happened. If I touch, in this case, if I touch, ah, the this avatar is called Mr. Cheesy. So we're gonna change that here. We're gonna write Mr. Cheesy. Okay, return to the mouse. So when I when I touch Mr. Cheesy, sorry about that. It's not really one. Just open the tab. Look for Mr. Cheesy here. So when I touch Mr. Cheesy. I'm going, I'm going to say something for saying is uh, looks say yes say for example for a particular quantity of time say we were say we're saying that we can say gotcha you know for let's say two or three seconds Say for two seconds. For two seconds is okay. Okay, so with these two controls, for these two controls, we have the control for the mouse. Now let's go with the cat. With the cat, the situation is like this. Start with, with the control, uh, excuse me, with the event, event, when click, then the control forever. Again, is a loop. So it's going, it's happened over and over again. And what is going to happen that uh, that the mouse is going to point towards point towards point towards what point towards Jerry is going to be all, all the time to you know checking Jerry as you can see and uh, and he's going to move towards Jerry you see 10 step but this is too fast so it's going to kill it too fast so Let's change, let's stop the controls, okay, let's change for five steps. Actually, actually I'm going to place it three. I'm going to put three. 
so it's gonna be like you know it's gonna give the chance the mouse to escape okay with that being said uh, I would like to include a sound here in normally a scratch relates you know the sound <coughs> the sound with uh, the, the avatar in this case I wanted <coughs> A little slow, that's funny. And now I'm gonna play that sound. I'm gonna play that sound here. There you go. Play sound. Okay. Okay. Yeah, creepy. <laughs> okay. So we have the sound. You can you can use our sound so you can omit the sound. It's, it's okay with me. You know it's a little <laughs> it's annoying, but you know uh, it's like the, the very old video games. Remember Mr. Pac-Man when he was all the time wee -oh, wee -oh, wee -oh. So it's, it's just been like that. Uh, you, we can do this. Okay. Um, I had to experiment more with the sounds. Okay. Now now we'll with Mr. Cheesy. Mr. Cheesy. And let's set up the controls for Mr. Cheesy. Again, we go to we go to events here. Then we go to the first thing that we need from Mr. Cheesy is to hide, and then to appear. So the first thing we need to for from him is to hide, and we we're gonna find hide in looks. He, here at the bottom, you see hide and show. First is hide. We need the the cheese hide from the mouse okay then we're gonna we're gonna um, go to control and we're gonna set up the time that we want that the the cheese uh, hides let's say for a couple of seconds we're gonna wait two, two seconds and then and then we have, we have to set up where we want the cheese to appear we want a random a random uh, appearance of the cheese. To do that, we go to motion and we set up a little down here and we set up the X, remember the Cartesian plane, the X and the Y. Uh, remember that the X is the horizontal, the Y is vertical. And we want to cover all the Cartesian plane or the plane here with the x and the x and y coordinates. To do that, we go to uh, operators, and in operators we have this which says pick random. This option says pick random. It's going to establish the two coordinates that we need. Yes, thank you. And here, thank you. The coordinates that we need. To cover all all my Cartesian plane, more or less the coordinates in this plane uh, it goes for x to 200 and for y to 180. We start with the negative, so we go from down to top and from left to right. So from down to top it's gonna be minus 200 to 200. And for y is gonna be minus 180 and to 180. Okay, and that'll do. And then the sheet is gonna show. It's gonna show. Yes, here we go a little down. And now we need that cheese show itself. And that's it. Okay, that's pretty much the activity. Now we need the backdrop. The backdrop again you can choose it from the library here. Okay. So let's try this bedroom where the mouse maybe is here, is the cat, the cheese is here maybe. And let's see what happens. Okay, there's a little problem. The cat is too slow, and that's why 
I set up in in no this yes no, this one in three steps it's too slow so let's move to five steps or let's try four let's see what happens with four steps okay no I still is too slow so let's move to five let's see what happens okay well, it's weird because uh, with five we were doing with. Let's try to ten. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Oops, something went wrong because let's move this away. So maybe the sound changes. Yes, absolutely. The sounds affect the speed in some way. You see. So let's not include the sound for the moment. We have to experiment more with that. But now let's go to three. And the cut is gonna be slower, you see. There you go. There you go, okay, good. Do it a little faster. Okay. Something interesting is that we need to discover how to hide again, create a loop with with the with the cheese. Because I would like yes, we don't have that loop. I would like that uh, the cheese hide and show okay but i don't want to experiment in this moment because this is a tutorial so specifically for this so we're gonna leave it there but we can we can experiment with the cheese to show and hide in a loop way okay guys um that that's all so if you are working if you're working in the website you know what to do you go to share and uh, zoom you just publish and send me a link but if you're working with a program, like in this case, you go to File here, File, open it, and you go save to your computer. You save it, for example, in the desktop. You can write here the name, uh, Tom and Jerry Activity, okay. Save it, and then you save it, close here. Leave